and welcome back my dear student today we are going to learn operator eigen functions and eigen value we will learn these three topics today so let's start so what is an operator we have already encountered during our journey of quantum mechanics two types of operator that is hamiltonian operator and laplacian operators but we do not know actually what is actually mean by operator operator so today we will learn this all these things okay so operator is a mathematical tool basically is a mathematical tool for transforming one function into another okay so let's write down operator and operator exactly just one minute and so today we will learn operator okay today we will learn operator and what is mean by the operator operator an operator is a mathematical mathematical tools for transforming transforming one function one function into another so basically what uh, operator do it transform one function into another for example say function of x is a function particular function now if operator a actually operator is denote by using this kind of sign that is a cap there will be a cap over the uh, letter a or something omega is also used o is also used okay so we are using here a and a cap is over the a so fun uh, actually operator a is acting upon this function and it will transform this function into another function let say this is function this is g of x it is another function so operator is nothing but it transform one function that is function of x to g of x that is another function okay now operator itself doesn't have any meaning for example d by dx this is an example of operator now d by dx has itself has no meaning but if it is used before a particular function then that will bear a meaning for example say we are defining now the function of x is equal to c x square okay this is function of x now if d by dx act upon this function of x function of x okay that is this if it acts upon this function of x it is whole thing okay We are facing some problem okay okay so d function of x will be equal to d c of x square by dx that will be equal to 2 c x so this is another function so this particular function this particular function of x that is c x square has now been converted to another function of x so as per our definition it is nothing but g of x so in this way d by dx is the operator and a function of x that is cx square is the function and it is operating and d by dx is operating upon cx square and we are getting one particular function another particular function that is 2cx okay these two are not same 2cx and this is cx square these are not same of course so d by dx here is an operator so I think uh, I have been able to make you clear what is meant by the operator. Now, I am coming to another important topic that is what is called the eigenfunction. Just one minute, let me allow to erase the whole can canvas. Okay, so what is an eigenfunction? Eigenfunction is this type of function such that when any operator acts upon that function, the function is regenerated multiplied by constant. Again, I am repeating. Eigen, what is eigenfunction? Eigenfunction is a type of function such that 
when any operator acts upon that function so the operator will act upon that function the function will be itself will be regenerated multiplied by constant now this constant is known as the eigen value okay let me allow to write these things what i have already told to you that is what is eigen eigen function so we'll first learn of what is meant by eigen function okay now eigen function eigen function eigen function is a type of type of function such that when any operator when an operator when particular operator that when a particular operator operator acts upon that function that function the function will be regenerated the function will be regenerated generated followed by followed by no sorry sorry multiplied by multiplied by a constant now this constant now this constant is known as known as eigen value so this is eigen value so what is an eigen value the constant is called the eigen value which is actually generated during the process of the operation by the operator on a particular function the function will be regenerated along with the uh, along with the particular constants let try to understand these things with an example say let consider a particular function e to the power e to the power mx okay now this is this function is actually an eigen function of the operator d by dx d by dx okay now why this is an eigen function let try to understand now you apply d by dx this operator to e to the power mx so what will be the answer answer will be m e to the power mx m e to the power mx so you see this e to the power mx has been regenerated multiplied by this particular constant m so this m is actually called the eigen value and this is this function is eigen function eigen function let try to understand whether this particular function what i am writing here that is e to the power m x square is this function is a eigen function eigen function of d by dx let try to understand this then everything will be clear now so we have talked about e to the power m x square and the operator is d by dx so let try to operate this particular operator on this particular function so what will be the answer the answer will be 2 mx e to the power m x square now let's say let's see here so this is not a constant not a constant because x is there x is there so it is function of x x is there so it is not a constant so this particular function is not an eigen 
function of this particular operator. Where is it refer remains was the eigen function of the operator dy dx. So this is all about eigenvalue, eigenfunction, and operator. And I think this is sufficient for as for your syllabus. So let's conclude today. Thank you very much.